Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kit Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In this episode, I will show you how to make a basic parking lot. Now, um, you can make parking lots in many different ways in uh, this game. Um, the method that I'm going to show you is definitely not the only method, but it is a way that uh, I like to uh, quickly build them. So, uh, I'll start off by just uh, building a road. Um, well, normally you cannot place roads, but when you enable sandbox mode, and if they are enabled in your objects, then you can actually place them. Okay, I will uh, stop the, the roads here and I will just lower the ground a bit uh, over here. Okay, when that's done, uh, I will start placing some blocks here. Now you can also just uh, fill this area with uh, with pods instead of uh, using blocks, but uh, yeah, I uh, I actually kind of like doing it uh, doing it this way. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I will select these pod pieces here and I'll make them invisible, and then they look like this. But yeah, like I said, you can also just use uh, normal roads here, so whatever you prefer. Now um, for a parking lot, I often see people. Uh, like put fences for every parking spot um, yeah that probably doesn't look uh, too nice so what I like to use is these uh, steel lattice work uh, fences so uh, you can see I, I lowered the ground under these blocks and you can use these steel let lattice work uh, yeah, fences to make uh, the lines for the parking lot so I will just uh, quickly uh, place some of these uh, steel lattice work walls Okay, as you can see now, uh, on some of these tiles, you can see these fences actually uh, glitch through the blocks. So when that happens, you'll have to go into Tile Inspector. Now, if you select a uh, block here, if you hold Control, you can uh, click the block, and then it immediately selects it. And then you simply place the block under the lattice work, and then uh, the lattice work won't show through anymore. If you use paths for your uh, parking lot instead, then you can also use the lattice work. Uh, it should show as a thin line on top of the path. Okay, all the lines are done now. You could, for example, also uh, have some uh, parking lots for, uh, for, uh, for disabled people. Then you could, for example, uh, color some of the lines blue or you could uh, color some of the some of the spots themselves blue, something like this. But that's just if you want to get uh, fancy. I think it's always a nice touch for a parking lot. Okay, now that that's done, uh, of course you should probably decorate it with some trees around it, maybe a thick parking ticket booth. Uh, Probably a path from the parking lot to the to the park, um, but yeah, something that will always help make one of these uh, parking lots look nicer is to actually have some cars parked on them. So for that, uh, I'm co just going to use the steel belt mouse coaster, and what we're going to do is uh, I will first place a station on top of one of the parking spots, and then we'll build forwards. And right after every spot where you want a car to be parked, you place a block break. So like this, I want to have a car parked here. Then after that, I place a block break. So here I do the same block breaks here. And then we'll do a 180. Um, let's have so also have a car here. Now, you can also make a car that's... Uh, that's parked in a bit, in a bit of a uh, not so nice way. Um, so in order to do that, uh, you need to make the curve right before the block break. But I'll do that uh, a, a bit uh, further on in the track. I'm just now going to make some block breaks just so we can have some uh, parked cars here. Now 
Okay, I think this is uh, enough uh, yeah, parked cars for this tutorial. So I will just place an uh, entrance and an exit here. We can make those uh, invisible. And then here I'll use the sports cars. Well, you can also use a different car type if, th if that's what you prefer. I also kind of like the look of the the car or the automobile cars for the mini coaster. They also look uh, quite nice as uh, cars. Okay, now the tracks in continuous uh, circuit block section mode. I'll just put it in test mode and immediately close it. And then all the cars uh, should uh, stay in place. As you can see here, um, well, first I'll actually make the ride invisible. So I'll uh, use a crooked house. And we'll set the inspection time to never. No, actually, <laughs> on, on the places where these uh, cars are now, in some spots actually, the, uh, the lattice work is uh, showing through again. So I'll just place the base block on top there again. Okay, um, as you can might be able to see, these cars are parked uh, a bit. Yeah, they're parked quite far to the front in these parking spots. It may not be very visible now, but you will definitely see it if, for example, you put a, want to put a wall here to enclose your parking lot. So in order to fix that, uh, what I usually do is, uh, well, I previously I would then uh, take a Microsoft Visual Studio and then change the spacing of the cars. But uh, we now have plugins which you can use. So, um, yeah, here's the right vehicle editor plugin from uh, Bussy. I showed it in the previous tutorial and also will come in very handy here as well. So here we have the ride, now called Sports Car 1. And if you have the newest version of this plugin, you can also change the you know, the spacing of the ride or the track progress as it's called here. So this uh, car, I think it's nice and in the middle because this is a station of the ride. But if we take uh, um, train 2 for example, and this one's parked a bit too far to the front for my liking. So I'll take vehicle 2 and here we can change the track progress then. And it basically just moves the car uh, backwards a little bit. You have to choose uh, vehicle 2 because these cars they consist of three vehicles, a front vehicle, that's invisible, then there's the the car, and then there's a back vehicle, which is also invisible. So if you want to move these cars, you have to move the second vehicle. And yeah, then you could go through all of the trains. Uh, here we take vehicle two, and we just move it back a little bit. Etc. You could do this for every car, and then they will all be nice and uh, in the middle. And then you can make a nice wall next to the parking lot to uh, to enclose it. Or make a nice hedge around it or a fence. Uh, don't forget to also leave an opening for the guests to uh, where they would be able to walk through. Okay, something else you can do with this plugin is that you can also uh, yeah modify some of the cars into a different type. For example, uh, we could change uh, one of them into a different uh, vehicle. Let's change this one into a monster truck. There we go. And let's, uh, we could change another one into a pickup truck if we want. Uh, <laughs> don't forget to change the second vehicle to the pickup truck and not the front vehicle. All right. Um, yeah, so take vehicle 2 and we change that to a pickup truck. There we go. I'll just move it back a little bit. But yeah, that's how to uh, quickly uh, <laughs> fill up your parking lot with uh, with cars. And then this way also you don't need uh, a separate ride for every car. But you can all just do this with one ride. Uh, depending on how big your parking lot is, of course. Now it might also be nice to uh, give them a, a nice color, so I'll just change it quickly. Change it back to a uh, car ride, just so we can uh, color all of them. 
uh, you choose different colors per vehicle. Um, I mean, probably want different colors per car. Oh, and then you can all just give them all just a different color if you want. You probably shouldn't all keep every car in the in the same color. Well, and of course you can uh, repeat this for uh, every car if you like. All right, this is a uh, a simple, basic way to make a parking lot. I think this, uh, yeah, <laughs> this will look nice in uh, in every park. Like I said, this is not the only way to do a parking lot. This is just a simple and uh, and fast way. Now, like I said, some decorations that you could still add. Uh, you could, for example, add a place where people can get parking uh, tickets. Uh, yeah, you could make a, a barrier where or where the guests guests have to scan the ticket before they can leave. Uh, you could think of stuff like that. Of course, some nice decorations around it, maybe a fence. But yeah, that's all uh, up to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I hope it's useful for you. And I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.